These are the top 10 things you should not buy in 2021. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite. If you avoid one of these purchases on this list that I've curated of so-called deals, you will save yourself time, money, and potential heartache. If you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up. If you are, subscribe with your notifications turned on. Not only will I hook you up when actual deals drop, but for the members of my Insider Deal Guy texting club, I have your hookup all year round. If you guys want to text me, sign up. 440-298-2181 is my number. Let's get this savings party started in the number one spot of what you should not buy or book very far in advance in 2021 cruises. Now, if you look at the first promotion on this specific travel specialist website, this is actually geared toward the hundreds of thousands of people who had their cruises canceled last year and now have a carryover future cruise certificate. Or the thousands of people that were stuck on cruise ships and now promised free cruises to compensate for really lousy experiences. Don't book very far in advance, please. I urge you. And also, if you see things like best sale ever, that's rarely the case these days. And while there are great last minute cruise offers from websites like the one that you see on your screen or even Expedia or your travel agency of your choice, the last minute cruise offers in my opinion are much better. But please make sure any cruise purchase is accompanied by some type of travel insurance and purchased on a credit card that has cancellation insurance because chances are things will not go as planned. And the number two spot of what you should not buy in 2021, high end eyeglasses. The retail markups for eyeglasses can be as high as 500% for designer frames from some opticians, chain stores, high-end kiosks. Now, the best way to find reasonably priced frames with your prescription through warehouse stores like Costco or optical clearance websites that are well-rated that you trust. But even some high-end eyewear brands are permanently closing stores and a lot of people are seeing better ways to buy their high-end eyewear. Don't make 2021 a year where you fall for that 500% markup. Before I get to small appliances and some specific brands of clothing in the number three spot of what you should not buy in 2021, if you guys do not need it, I would skip a TV purchase. At this point right now, we're seeing a complete complete over inundation of clearance from 2020. From Target to Amazon, Best Buy, retailers just can't move televisions the way they used to. And the so-called once in a lifetime television sale that you would see on Black Friday is now pretty much any week of the year. $200 in savings, 500, you name your brand, whether it's a more basic in-house brand like Best Buy's Insignia or some of the higher end TVs, whatever it is that you are looking for, those so-called exclusives are a thing of the past. If you guys follow me regularly, I'm convinced I could actually find you a different TV deal from some merchant every hour of every day. So please don't fall for any of those high pressured retail tactics or those inundations of promotions you get via email of people telling you, you need to buy a TV right now or you'll never see that promotion again, not true. Ooh, I got a little fired up on that last point. You can see I'm starting to perspire. I'm gonna take a quick sip. Whoa. By the way, one of the things I'm not buying in 2021, bubble tea. My wife learned how to make it at home and no, this is not me trying to pawn off merch. This was actually a gift and I think it's a really cool reusable mug. In the number four spot of what you might not wanna consider relevant in 2021, any so-called small appliance sale. I'm not telling you to avoid a small appliance altogether. I'm just saying any of those sales that you see, President's Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, I could tell you right now, whether it's an Instant Pot or a multi-cooker Kasori, it's on sale every three days from some other merchant. So don't get overly excited when you see the deal if you do not need one right now, whether it's this Nespresso machine, which is on sale every other minute from some merchant, the Instapot, the Hamilton Beach, all of these things that you see on your screen right now are repeated time and time again. There's nothing special about small appliance sales in 2021. In the number five spot of what you should not buy in 2021, high-end clothing. And again, I'm pretty sure if my wife's watching, she's gonna wanna punch me for this. She loves many of the brands that you're gonna see on your screen right now, and they all have one thing in common, and that is almost bankruptcy or severe financial problems tied to the parent company that's continuously closing stores. Think realistically about what you're going to do this year. The black tie dinners, the galas, the 
high-end exclusive sporting events, when are we really leaving our home for the occasion that we would have left our home for last year? And again, I hope that changes. But because many of these clothing retailers are struggling so much, many of their sales are not that great. Many of their reductions are not that strong. And I encourage you to enter any merchant of your choice right now in real time. I haven't even rehearsed this and I'm guaranteeing you right now, there's gonna be some major sale that pops up at the bottom of the screen. 40% off, 50% off, extra 10% off. It doesn't really matter where you shop. Buy what you need. I wouldn't over-purchase and I wouldn't allow any of these merchants to over-promise in terms of deliverables. Everything that's a sale item right now will be clearance faster than you've ever seen it drop before in price. Again, don't feel pressured. Before we get to an item on this list that I've purchased that I deeply regret, let's talk about spa gift cards. Spa gift cards in the number six spot are one of the worst things that you can purchase right now. Spas are still recovering from communities that were once in lockdown and if they have reopened, it's nearly impossible to book a massage due to capacity controls. To make matters even worse, many spas are on the verge of bankruptcy. I really wish that was not the case, but a spa gift card right now is just money tied to a card that you might not ever be able to use. In the number seven spot of a purchase you should not make in 2021, in my personal opinion, a timeshare. And I'm guilty. I did purchase a timeshare prior to the whole world flipping upside down and it's been nearly impossible to use. If you guys are unfamiliar with how a timeshare works, you buy an allocated amount of time at a property of your choice. Sometimes it's in the form of points, sometimes it's tied to a specific unit and the idea is that you should be able to use it. But as a result of capacity controls at properties, people not being able to fly to their destination of choice, canceling left, right and center, you're often left with points or an amount of money put toward a reservation that you can't actually redeem. The cancellation fees are high, the customer service is generally horrendous, and while this is not a good time to purchase a timeshare, because chances are you might not be able to use it in the coming year, it is a really good time to rent one. So there are websites to allow you to rent the timeshare of someone that isn't able to use his or her reservation. Those are great things for 2021, but the purchase of a timeshare is a really bad purchase in my opinion. Keep in mind too that many of the assessment fees tied to properties have gone up considerably as many of the hotels and resorts try to compensate for lost revenue in 2020. And the number eight spot of what you should not buy in 2021, and I know there's many people that are not going to like this, jewelry. And I know for a fact that my wife will not punch me after delivering this information because this is actually tied to a conversation we had. And whether you see promotions tied to mall jewelry or Jared's, Kohl's, JCPenney, but if for any reason you're not aware, the engagement season, which was this past December, was pretty much dead and awful. And while many jewelry companies are trying to incentivize you, many of them have stocks and shareholders and things that they also need to keep an eye on for their bottom line. And that means the promotions right now, while they are good, they are not the best. And the Valentine's Day sale that you might miss is gonna become some other sale and some other reduction and some other customer appreciation sale. So one, don't feel pressured. And two, maybe be realistic about what you'll actually wear. I wanted to get my wife a tennis bracelet for our anniversary and we actually had the conversation together and she said, well, it's, it's just gonna sit in a safe. I'm not gonna be able to wear it anywhere. I've got nowhere to go right now other than right around our home. So that might be a purchase that you want to avoid. And more importantly, this was just an opportunity for me to overshare personal information. In the number nine spot, but I consider you guys all friends and family, so it's, it's not too personal, I don't think. In the number nine spot though, something I'm thrilled to add to my list, gym memberships. For those of you that know me, I don't go to the gym more than once or twice every three years. You can tell from looking at me, things might actually be getting worse. I'm just not sure. My head looks bigger than usual. Other parts of my body, well, anyhow, again, that would be too much personal information, but for the gym memberships right now that over promise, I would not buy into any of these under any circumstance. With that being said, short-term memberships are great and trial memberships are amazing, but many gyms are unfortunately having the odd outbreak or having to be shut down or they have capacity controls. And many of the facilities that are promised as part of these memberships where we all feel pressure tied to our New Year's resolutions, not things you could actually enjoy in person. So in January, 2022 next year, when that New Year's resolution is right at the top of your mind, join your gym then. And by the way, I will mention I'm not in any way giving out any type of health or fitness advice on this channel. That's just personal opinion. In the number 10 spot, definitely a subject that gives me absolutely no pleasure to put onto this list. And then I'll move to bonus items, which I think are actually better conversation topics. But 
Local restaurant gift cards are a very problematic purchase right now. This is the time where we should be supporting our local mom and pop shops, merchants, and eateries. But there's a better way to do that. Rather than buying a gift card directly from a restaurant that could unfortunately close its doors or go out of business before you can actually redeem the gift card or the person that you've gifted it to, consider an option like restaurant.com where there's countless promotions that will allow you plenty of opportunities to sample the best restaurants in your community and support them. Even something like Groupon is a good way where you could buy a local restaurant gift card and then if that merchant shutters its doors or is forced to close, you can actually get the value back from your gift card from a company like restaurant.com or Groupon. While I realize the cash flow isn't as significant to a local restaurant in this case, you can always over tip when you go to the restaurant purchase beyond the value of that gift card that you bought. But please be very careful. I heard from many subscribers from this channel asking me to try and help them get their money back tied to local restaurant gift cards that were not being honored or accepted. And now for the bonus round of what you should not buy in 2021. I do believe that those excessive body care sales have their time and place. Now let's talk about Bath & Body Works. There's a sale on here every day. And if you play your cards correctly and you're buying candles or body products at a specific time of the year like their semi-annual sale, you can do really well. But any seasoned Bath & Body Works shopper will know which of these deals are actually good. The six for 26, the four for 20. You guys know the value of your items. Maybe a buy three, get two free is a better way to go. Study the sales. Don't accept that first sale that you see upon initial promotion, specifically if you're not a seasoned shopper for that specific retailer. And of course, that information applies to many other beauty and makeup related purchases. I didn't mean to pick on Bath & Body Works as they actually have some of the better sales, but play your cards carefully. And now my final bonus and a promotion that you should not fall for in 2021, in my opinion, any credit card offer you see tied to airline points or miles. None of the offers right now are anything that incredible and they will get better. There's no doubt about it. The travel industry is seeing some very difficult times right now as parts of the industry collapse entirely. And while I am on your side as a consumer and it is important to support whatever it is that you want to spend your money on, Please stay away from many of these promotions or specifically promotions like this. I absolutely love this hotel company as an example right now where they're giving you 30% more bonus points for what you purchase tied to your travel. But we don't know what hotels are going to exist in certain communities beyond certain dates. And we certainly don't know the routes for airlines where they're constantly changing their schedules and terms and conditions on a regular basis. And in many cases, their customer service is just horrendous. So please approach every offer that you see with a little bit more cynicism than usual. I'm a huge optimist, so this is the type of thing that I actually have trouble with. But that fine print is usually on the side of the retailer, not the consumer. And I'm here to protect you. And I hope I did that today. If you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're subscribed with your notifications turned on, I love you even more. And if you want to join my Insider Deal Guide Texting Club 440 298-2181 is my number, 440-298-2181. Stay safe, happy savings, and I really appreciate you spending this amount of time with me today. Bye-bye.